Create initial submission actions. An initial submission action occurs when a user first submits a record for approval. By default, the record is unlocked. You unlock it in a bit. In this step, you specify the parameters for approval outlined by Alison Wheeler back in our first step, including who approves this count based on the, var the varying criteria. Continue where you left off in the previous step. If you have navigated away from you in the previous step and your approval process, now we're still there. And then we are supposed to select the discount process from the inactive, so it's not active yet. And From the add new pick list in the initial submission actions. Add new field update. Approval status pending. Field update, approval status. And then click save, then create. Next, create approval steps, new approval step. Process name, manager approval. Description, discount approval must approve discounts over 15%. Unity discount percentage greater than 15. Next. Automatically assign the user field selected earlier. Manager. Click save. No, I'll do this later. New approval step, VP approval. VP North America sales must approve discount over 40%. Step number two is automatically selected. Criteria met, discount percentage is greater than 40 Pretty much self explanatory for once. <laughs> Let's search for others in here. Reject based on first response. Approve delegate may also approve this request. Deselected, we don't want that. Perform actions for the step and all final rejection actions. Right. And again. Mm. 
Now we just need to activate it and that's it. This activation is premature since we are still there's still a bit of work to be done on this approval process, but allows us to verify you've successfully completed the step of the project. We will deactivate the approval process in the beginning of the next step. Okay, you have made it through the initial approval actions. Now you've headed to the home stretch. Move on to the final step in this project and tackle final approval and rejection actions. So let's go through this again. The initial uh, submission actions for the approval process, uh, discount approval process is firstly the if the status is uh, if it's submitted, then the status is pending. Um, then the manager approval is the first step if it's greater than 15%. And if it's greater than 40%, there must also be a VP approval, which is Allison. And apparently it goes through both steps and the second step is ignored if it's uh, less than 40%. So let's verify this and see if I did everything right. That's it.